So this asks the question, this video will ask the question, do the royals really prefer that Harry uh, stays away and Meghan because maybe they're sucking up uh, too much of the spotlight? That's what the uh, video will be about. So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with me. It just occurs to me that that was a big uh, issue with uh, Prince Charles is that Diana soaked up all the spotlight and he was the one who used to be in the spotlight before that. He was the golden boy. He was the one that uh, that the uh, media was following and then there was Diana and so and now there is Harry and Meghan. Is that the problem? We'll uh, let the cards tell us. Okay so this will be another viewer question and this is uh, Sophie Kozo 6 asks this question and thank you, Sophie Kozo 6, for asking. Will uh, British royals prefer that Prince Harry uh, skips United Kingdom events uh, and, and drawing attention away from the monarchy? So, do the royals prefer that Harry not be there drawing attention away from them? That's the question. Do the royals prefer that Harry not be there <coughs> and drawing attention away from them? Especially at this a sensitive time that we're coming into, perhaps. So do the royals prefer that Harry's not there and drawing attention away from their plans? Remember, um, Charles, it seems to me, was very uh, unhappy about uh, all the attention that Diana so easily came by when prior to that he had been the one who uh, had the lion's share of that affectionate attention from the British uh, public. But first, let's have a moment of meditation. Okay, so do the royals, in general, all of them, prefer that Harry's not there taking attention away from them? I feel like the cards are ready, so this will be it. Let's cut them once. So do the royals prefer Harry's not taking attention away from them? Six cards. One, two, three, four, five. And six. Let's see what this how this comes out. So do the royals prefer the Harry's not there taking attention away from them? Signifier card for that is this seven of uh, wands, and the seven of wands is uh, really defend uh, wands are actions, plans, motion forward, and uh, the seven of wands is really defending yourself against all these actions coming up uh, to you. Interesting. So, um, yeah, this can go both ways. This could be Harry beating down uh, these uh, actions against him, or it could be the royals uh, uh, defending themselves. Interesting. So the challenge to that, then, with this Eight of Cups, is having to turn away from something that's of emotional value. You know, Cups are emotion, compassion, and uh, the Eight of Cups is just that. And you can see this performer here has turned away from all of these all-so-important uh, Cups of Emotion. So this, for me, feels like the Royals recognizing the emotional value that Harry has for them, but also recognizing we're here for the monarchy. We need to turn away from that and turn our attention to the monarchy, perhaps. Uh, the base of this reading, ah, is the Pope S. So this is number two in the uh, Major Arcana, the um, uh, second stop that the Fool makes on his journey. And the Pope S is interesting because she has all the knowledge, okay? She can see into the future. She has uh, all the strength. Uh, to uh, know uh, what is the path forward. And that's the base of this whole reading. So hoping that the monarchy, I, I guess, uh, has everything they possess to uh, take this uh, uh, monarchy uh, safely into the future. In the past of this reading, then, with this queen of coins, you know, coins are value. The queen, I think this is the queen herself, she's looking at her uh, books. She's assessing uh, where the value is. Is this more value than something else? And so that's what's in the past here. We're almost to that point to where the queen is in the past. And she's going over her ledgers, making sure that she's got everything in order, and she's assigning appropriate value to the appropriate 
place or persons. In the sky of this reading, then, is this ten of wands. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement, and that this is, represents a hard load to push forward. That's what's in the sky here. So it's you know a difficult task. These plans are hard to uh, make happen gracefully. Okay, you can see this elephant has fallen back on his butt, and he's trying to rock himself up and get forward. And so that's what's in the sky. This, and then the likely outcome of the first part of this, with this nine of cups, is the um, uh, some say the greedy merchant, some say it's hopes fulfilled. Whatever it is, cups are compassion's emotion, and the nine of cups is a load of that. And so this uh, card shows us that they're very happy to display all of their emotional trophies. Okay, for the world to see. Are they happy for Harry to stay away and take attention away from the, the monarchy? Let's see. So we need four more cards to finish this out. I'll give it one shuffle, I think. Yep. And then we'll um, lay this out. Signified card being right here. Oh, secrets being revealed. Of course it is. So, um, yeah, that's the signifier of this whole thing, the secrets being revealed. Harry knows what's going on on the inside. And uh, so that's the signifier of this whole thing, those things that uh, the monarchy keeps under wraps for whatever reason it is. The environment that that's in, then, is right here in this world card, the end of a cycle, the complete finish of one thing and the beginning of something else. It's a delicate balance. It can uh, everything can come crashing down easily, and so these secrets being revealed are um, in the environment of this uh, this end of a cycle. The hopes and the fears for this uh, with this page of cups. You know, he's the very least uh, important member of the royal family. This page, I mean. And, um, and probably Harry now, uh, in a lot of ways, and cups, of course, emotion and compassion. And so the page of cups, the hope and the fears, is that it is hope that he remains uh, of uh, little uh, emotional significance and that he is of some emotional significance. And then the final uh, outcome for the whole thing, right here with the king of coins, well, it's very appropriate. We have the queen of coins here in the uh, outgoing queen, and we have the king of coins here in the incoming new king of value. Okay, so this king, recognizing his value, he knows that his value isn't immense. Look, he's holding on to that little bitty coin, but he's got a very commanding um, uh, figure here. And uh, even though he's an old man, uh, resting up, but he's holding on to that nugget of value that he has. So to read it all again, uh, do the royals prefer Harry not be there taking uh, attention away from them? Starts out with this uh, seven of wands. And um, for me, this feels like Harry really beating back all these plans. Again, though, it could easily be the monarchy beating back all these uh, actions against them. And it's uh, challenged by uh, this um, Eight of Cups having to turn away from something of emotional importance. And that's both Harry and the royal family, both that qualifies. The base of this whole thing is this Pope has knowing exactly what to do, being able to see into the future and understand uh, how important these decisions are. And in the past of this reading, it looks to me like it's the Queen herself checking those books, looking at the value, assigning to each uh, slot in that ledger. Okay, We're scrutinizing uh, what's been done in the past and uh, what needs to be done for the future, I would imagine. And then the sky that reading is this Ten of Wands, which is just such a heavy, clumsy um, uh, bundle to move forward. And the likely outcome of the whole thing then uh, in this first part with this Nine of Cups is being proud to show your emotional trophies. The signifier, uh, the self of that very question about whether they'd rather Harry not be there taking attention away from the monarchy is all these secrets being revealed. You know, that's the, the, the kernel of all of this. But it's in the environment of what? It's in the environment of this end of a cycle, this world card that's balanced so fragilely. And then the uh, hopes of the fears for all of this then, with this page of cups, this could be Harry actually uh, understanding he's got very little emotional value, but look how important this emotional value is to this page's successful performance of his act. He's really got to prop himself up on whatever emotional value is left in there. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing is right here with this king of coins, this king uh, now in place of this queen, understanding his very little uh, value, but understanding his commanding uh, presence. So, very interesting reading. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, who was this? This was uh, Sophie Coase, uh, correct? Yeah, Sophie Coase. Thank you so much for asking this question. Well, like you'll only hear me say, I mean, the cards tell us what the cards tell us. I try to read them uh, and uh, just give you my uh, divinations on that. And I hope that uh, meld with what you uh, thought. And if it didn't, let me know. Tell me in the comments. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So, Le Grand Circus and Sideshow Tarot by Joe Lee. 
these are really terrific cards. They come in a very nice box. If you received them as a gift or gave them as a gift, you'd feel like, oh, that's a, that was a nice gift. And um, the cards themselves are really nice. Um, they're done in the style of sort of circus posters. And uh, the guidebook uh, is really a very nice little guidebook. This fellow, Joe Lee, uh, was a very interesting uh, person, or is a very in interesting person. And uh, I want to find, there's a little bit here that talks about him. Um, but he was a circus performer. He went to the Clown College in Florida, which I'm from Florida, and I'm very well at the Clown College here. Uh, uh, that uh, you can go to to get a, a degree in that and then uh, he's done other things in his life and then once he decided uh, that he would create uh, tarot cards he uh, designed these um, to be so very useful they're easy to use um, the art on them is amazing and if you know your right away system you're not going to have a problem you know deciphering uh, what these cards are, are going to mean I mean they're pretty self-explanatory and fun 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 to look at so you know I do this so that you can have a look at these cards uh, and you know if you're not a person who collects cards or looks at a bunch of tarot cards otherwise you're only going to see the few cards that a reader pulls at a time and uh, I think it's just that you're missing out on a lot so you know this uh, Legrand uh, Circus Sideshow Tarot I love using these well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.